God is changing. God is using me. Mm -hmm. God is using me to show off, I believe. He like, you know, God is, is similar to... He's saying he wanted the loudest voice and the, and the, the one who made the most noise to, to, to make the most impact? Yeah, he wanted to show off. He's like, now, now let me take uh -huh. this... Let me take this Nebuchadnezzar type character. Nebuchadnezzar was the king, or is it, is it uh, Babylon? Mm -hmm. ne Nebuchadnezzar was the king of Babylon. And he looked at his entire kingdom and said, I did this. And God said, oh, for real, you did this? Sounds kind of similar, right? I'm standing on the tip of the mountain talking about Jesus saying, That's right. I did this. I'm a God. That I'm a God, and I, I could talk to Jesus at the end of my show. I had <laughs> a guy dressed up as Jesus at the end of my show. He was standing on a huge mountain on yeah. that tour. And that huge mountain, first of all, I didn't make any money off that tour. I'm lugging a, a mountain around, and God said, okay. Nebuchadnezzar was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, he was, and he was still king. So not only was I diagnosed with mental illness, the mental illness is something that was used to take my dome down by 10 feet, to wash me out, to control me. Let me tell you one of the oh, things. Oh, you're saying that they tore it down because they, it, it was based on the fact that they considered what you were doing to be part of, to be crazy. No, that's not what I'm saying, but I, I see that you took it in that way. As a God-fearing, married, Christian, innovator, billionaire, founder. No one's gonna take my opinion away from me. Give me some other examples where someone is saying um, something that isn't what you're culturally supposed to say. Mm. Give me an example of something, of a, of a position where someone is saying something that you're not culturally supposed to say. Whether, I bet it's only one name you can think of. You don't want to say it, do you, Lebron? <laughs> nah, come on. <laughs> no, hey, we're different, mm -hmm. we have, and we have different approaches to how we live our life. Yeah. But one thing you said earlier on, which I do totally relate to, which I love, is we're trying to leave the world in a better place for the people that matter to us, our kids. Our kids. And, and if you're too young to have kids, you're trying to make the world a better place for yourself. And she may be in a situation where it's expected of her now, but I do think Greta Thunberg at one point was on that list, having a 16-year-old kid from Sweden coming out and putting everything on hold and saying what she believed in. And climate change does concern me, and I do think it's a fucking issue. And I think the fact that she came out and did that was huge. And now it's like, oh, that's culturally accepted because she has an army of kids behind her, but at the time she was one kid. She's the only person who stood out in the street and did that mm -hmm. on her own. Do you know how many times I've walked down the street when I've been felt so frustrated about that and thought, what if I just stop what I'm doing and stand out in the middle of a street in Los Angeles with a placard? Would anyone join me, right? I'm sure I'm not alone in feeling that way. And it feels overwhelming. Like what change is it really gonna make? She just showed us up. She did that on her own. Mm -hmm. Started with one person. That was beautiful. And it's beautiful, but it's also terrifying that we're leaving that world you know i see why you're here i get it mm -hmm. i understand why you why, why you're checking out it was too noisy for you there it was too mm -hmm. noisy and you responded by making as much noise as you could and we're lucky we got mm -hmm. amazing art out of it amazing art yeah. if this was a trade kanye we did all right mm -hmm. out of it you know what this is so funny <laughs> facts well, well that's good but also i owe nobody nothing my Forefathers have already fought the fight. So it's not a fight when I put the hat on. It's simply my opinion and it's next subject. But this shows you that God is hilarious. Why? <laughs>